Hello, welcome everyone. I'm back and we're going to look at something that I was here I think last winter but it's a beautiful warm windy day uh, this morning. I got something unique I want to show you but I want to talk to you all about something first. This is important. Uh, I want to thank my subscribers for subscribing to my channel. It means a lot to me. I don't have a Patreon account. I do this strictly for fun. It's just a hobby. But I do appreciate uh, the subscribers that I do have. And also, I was going to talk to you about something else. Um, way back in the early 80s, when Smoking the Bandit came out, CBs were literally, I mean, they were selling like hotcakes. They were being bought by the thousands. Well, you had to have a license back in those days. Well, when the FCC got flooded with hundreds of thousands of permits, they stopped it. Okay, you don't need to have a license for CB radio. For those of you who don't know, CB stands for Citizens Band Radio. They were used primarily by truckers. Well, when you have a CB, you have what's called a handle. And that's what you go by when you're talking on the CB. My handle was Silver Bullet. So what I thought about doing is on these YouTube videos is uh, that's what that will be my handle so to speak will be the old silver bullet so I think that's what I'm going to go on um, we are not too far from Wingenon Oklahoma and Wingenon Oklahoma has what looks like a space capsule and I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to show it to you here give me just a minute Okay, here it is. I think it's been painted. They fixed it up a little bit. But this is the space capsule. It's not really a space capsule. I'm going to kind of give you a spoiler alert. For those of you that don't know, uh, actually this was a cement mixer. And what happened was apparently there was an accident that has been a long time ago. I, don't, I can't tell you the year that's all happened. But there was an accident. The cement mixer became detached from the truck and it landed here well instead of moving it they just left it and they painted it up to look like a space capsule they done a really good job of it um, as you can tell it's a little bit it's got a gash right there and there's been some rotting done on it now that was not there the last time I was here so that's been I was here last winter and I looked this up on the internet and it looked like to me that they had fixed it up a little bit better than this but apparently not but at any rate that's what this is supposed to resemble is a is a space capsule and there again I'm in a little area called Wingenon Oklahoma we're going to be going actually there's a lake not too far from here a pretty good sized lake you go over the bridge and you'll be in the actual little community Wingenon and we thought about going there here a little bit but this is the space capsule slash <laughs> cement mixer but it's kind of unique I saw this on YouTube a couple of years ago by another vlogger that actually does this for a living and I thought that's pretty cool so I looked it up on Google Maps and then uh, I found it and of course there's the mechanism that would have made the cement mixer turn when it was on the truck I'm kind of disappointed because the pictures that I saw had what looked like rocket boosters on the back end of this now I don't see them today so that's a little weird I looked this up on the internet and it showed rocket boosters on the end of this it probably is cardboard but now they're not here so I don't know what that was all about it was one of the, another one of those internet hoaxes or something. I'm not sure. Um, but at any rate, I'm kind of got to go down a little hill here. Um, I know you look, had 60 some views last time. So I thought I would come back and do this again. I came here because on the internet it looked like it had been all fixed up. Well, I think it has to some degree been fixed up a little bit. I don't remember the flag or NASA being on that before. Um, 
But the gash, I do not remember the gash on the other side. I'm going to show you something else too. I walked around this before, but I didn't really show you. You can still see the concrete. Um, if I can get down here. Um, give me just a minute here. I don't know if you can see that. See the concrete up in there? And like I said, I don't know how many years ago this happened. Now, there's another big slab of concrete that came out of the mixer. I'm kind of disappointed because this is not what I've seen. Uh, I came here just because it looked like it had been fixed up. And I just don't see much evidence of it. I do think the NAS and the flag are new. But like I said earlier, the gash was not there. And then there's some sort of real faint writing on here. And I don't know. Um, it may not be visible on the video, but there's some sort of real faint. There's a date. And then there's some other, I can't make out what that means. Um, that was not there as either. Last time I was here, rather. And if I can get a real close-up look at this gash. Let me see if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this or not. You can actually see the concrete in there, although, um, well, the glare is really, really bad. I can't really see what I'm even... And there's a, I don't know what that stands for either. But, at any rate, I thought you would enjoy that again. Um, but again, I do appreciate the support. Uh, for my subscribers, like I said, I don't do this. I don't have a Patreon account. This is strictly just for fun. And I hope you all enjoy these videos. I just did uh, several videos. We have been we went to uh, Precious Moments Chapel, which is outside of Carthage, Missouri. And then we went to Branson, Missouri. And I've got some videos as well. For those of you that maybe has just joined my channel, um, you can look them up on my Tricky Two Head or Better Than One, uh, my YouTube channel. But, at any rate, we're just on a little road trip this morning. It's a nice morning. It's not real hot yet. Um, a little windy. But otherwise, pretty nice day. But there you have it. That is the Winging On Space Capsule. Like I said, this is. The little town of Wingenon is not too far from here. We're going to be going there in a little bit. We're going to be going across the lake. There's a pretty good sized lake not too far from here. So that's hopefully what we're going to be doing here in a little bit. I'm going to kind of pan around here just a little bit. Um, there used to be a sign right over here somewhere that said it was a Wingenon space capsule. But you know what? I do not see it. Maybe I'm not down far enough. I think it's since disappeared. Last time we were here, it was here. And it's gone. For whatever reason, it's not here no more. It was right along in here, this fence line. I'm thinking it was right here. But it's, it's gone. I don't know if it's down on the ground. I don't know if somebody took it or why they took it, but I don't see it. It's not here. Okay. It just said winging on space caps. But there it is. It's only, uh, t it, it, it's about, uh, it's about an hour from Coffeeville. And yes, it's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> well, actually, let me take that back. You're actually not too far from Nowata, N-O-W-A-T-A, Nowata, Oklahoma.
it. There you have it. Um, okay, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, we just saw a little road trip this morning. I do appreciate my subscribers that I have. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, like I've said all along, this is just for fun. Just like a hobby for me. So, there again, I uh, hope that y'all have a remainder, a nice day. And this is old Silver Bullet, signing out for now. We'll catch you later. Bye for now.